Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new video. I'm Jacques, Mr. Pink Ink. And today we're gonna do a bit of a check in and see how far we got to that goal this year, shall we? <laughs> So the mid-year book freak out tag has been around for a while. I did one last year, I shall link that down below. Um, yeah, and it's a good way to sort of take accountability and see where you are at for the year in your reading, see if you found any gems, um, see what you happy with what you've been disappointed by and what you're looking forward to um, and six months have gone by of the year really can you believe can you believe um yeah wow 2022 is halfway through and yeah i've read some good books i've read some good books um uh, so yeah let's go on to the tags the questions of the tags they are 13 and let's have a look see now oh, just a quick note about my video if this tag is meant to be all 2022 releases then that's not how it works here by me i read what i read in 2022 and if it's a 2022 release then yay um but i have read some 2022 releases and oh i'm going to as well so that's that but not all my books are 2022 releases if that's what this tag is about then this is a fail. Okay, but before we go into the questions, I just want to take a quick moment and take a stop of um, my Goodreads. My goal for this year is 60 books only. I have been doing 80 books for the last three years, um, but last year I barely, barely made it, barely by the skin of my teeth. And um, yeah, so this year I did 60 because I can always increase the amount. And currently I'm finished number 43. We'll see. <laughs> Question number one The best book you've read in 2022 so far? Hmm. Um, for that one, I'm going to go with Wonderland by Juno Dawson. Um, which is a queer Alice in Wonderland retelling. It's amazing, it's brilliant, it's incredible. And I can't talk about it enough. Five stars. But I do have a video where I talk about it, so I shall link it up there. Shall I? I shall link it up below. You'll find it. I will link it. Go get it! It's freaking good. And, um, yeah. Yes. Question number two. What is the best sequel you read in 2022? For this one, I'm going to go with um, Earth's End by Elise Kova. And this is directly related to question number five, um, and you'll see why. The reason I'm saying that this is the best sequel I've read, it's not fantastic, it's not anything, it's just that um, because of book two, Fire Falling, I hated it. I almost really didn't want to deal. I, I mean, I didn't want to finish it. I really wanted to give up. But the Earth's End was the saving grace so far. I do need to finish the series before book five, but that's the best sequel for me this year because I pulled that entire story right out. Mm. Question three: uh, Twenty twenty two release that you haven't read yet. Well, I honestly have to say yes to us by Picky Up Italia and Adam Silvera. Absolutely loved What If It's Us. This is the sequel. I cannot wait to read it. Thank you, Jonathan Ball, for sending this to me. So this is what I'm looking forward to. Have you read this one? If you have, what did you think about it? Please let me know in the comments down below. Question mm. number four. Your most anticipated release for the second half of 2022. Um, I don't base my reading on that. It depends on the books that I get from the publishers. Um, 
I do have some indies coming up, and 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 and, and, uh, and there's another one that I just got from Johnson Board as well. It's an arc coming in August. Um, so I'm going to be reading those. So if you want to know more, just be on the lookout for my July TBR, which is coming soon. <laughs> Number five. What is your biggest disappointment of the year so far? Mm -hmm. Well, back to question number two. Um, I enjoyed Earth's End by Liz Kerber because Fire Falling was a big, big disappointment because there was no fantasy. There was nothing happening. There was just a simpering girl over a guy can't do anything by herself and they're traveling and they're traveling in the desert and there's nothing and she's just dumb sorry i'm sorry but i couldn't i couldn't there were two parts of the book that were a seven grace um which is why i ended up reading this and um and luckily that was Well, yeah, it was much better, and it pulled the story together, and so on and so forth. So I am still looking forward to reading the rest of the series. Question six. What was the biggest surprise of the year so far? Hmm. Bam. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Tempest by Julie Cross is a sci-fi romance young adult thriller. It is awesome. And it's very surprising and it reads like a movie and I also have a video where I talk about this book which I shall link over here or down below. So do go check that out. I also do recommend this. This is a book one in a series. I really want to get book two and book three. Mm -mm. Hashtag gift ideas. <laughs> Question number six. A favorite new author, either debut or new to you? I have to say that I absolutely adore Juno Dawson and everything they write is needs to come into my eyeballs. I need to, I need to, I need to because Wonderland was just incredibly brilliant and she's written under James Dawson as well. This book is gay. I have that. That's really good. Really, really, really good as well. Um, so everything from Juno Dawson I want to get. Oh, and I did request an art from Jonathan Ball for her new adult fantasy series, um, but I didn't get the one. So, number eight, newest fictional crush. <laughs> we all have those, don't we? Um, but yeah, look, I'm married to Richard Roll from you know the truth. The sort of truth series, um, so but I have to go with Hank from Drifting. Um, diving in number one by Jay Callamy is so art and he's a driving instructor, and you know, he's my age, he's our age, and and mm, 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 mm. yeah, 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 definitely recommend going to check out Hank and Cole in Drifting by Jay Callamy. <laughs> Number nine, your newest favorite character. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Delilah Bard from A Darker Shed of Magic by V. Schwab. Um, I've only read book one, I only have book one. I'm dying, dying. Hashtag get the dear number two for the rest of the series. Um, Delilah Bard, why Delilah? Uh, oh, Lila. Uh, she is, she's resourceful, she's intelligent, she doesn't let herself get open all over, she looks out for herself, she's sassy, and she's stabby, <laughs> and we love her, we do. Question number 10, what is a book that made you cry? Mm, I'm going to have to go with Affliction, Growing Up with a Closeted Gay Dad by Laura Hall. Um, I have a review up of this one and I shall talk about it. I also have a video up somewhere so I shall 
link that as well. Um, it's about a story of Laura um, who found, found out that her dad was gay in her 40s. And then she talks about how it that now affects her and, and reflects on her life and how all of these things have affected her and her family. Um, it's actually really, really good. I don't really do memoirs, but this one, you know, I talk about this in, 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 a, in a personal way as well. So I'll link that video. Highly recommend it. Do go get yourself a copy of this one. Question number 11. What is the book that made you happy? <laughs> Thursdays at Orange Blossom House by Sophie Green. Courtesy of Dalton Ball Publishers. Thank you so much. This was another surprising book. It's what I call slice of life. I don't really think it is what that's called, but that's what it is. Check it, obviously, women's fiction. Um, and it follows the story of three women, I think late 30s, early 40s, and early 70s. Grace Maud is awesome. I love her. I love her. But the other two girls are fantastic. <sighs> I don't know. It's, they, they find struggles in their lives that they, you know, need to deal with. It's about acceptance and 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 deal with being with things that you wanted to have but can't have, and then you know how your life goes from there, and 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 so on and so on. And and the main thread that pulls these ladies together is this: there's an orange blossom house. I love the title. I love the pink. Obviously. Do you look at yourself a copy? Highly recommend this one. Highly, highly recommend this one. I do. Yeah. Question 12. What is the most beautiful book you bought so far this year or received as a gift from a publisher? Um, I'm going to go with War Hearts by Tori Goodkind. This is the finale of the Sort of Truth series. Um, number 15, I think. I want to replace my entire series with this edition. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is number two, the second book that I have, not number two, it's the second book that I have in this edition, and it's beautiful! Look, it's so pretty! Love, love, love. Mm. Also, I'm a Terry Good Guy fan, and I love his earlier works, not so much his later works because it becomes repetitive, but Yes, Sort of Truth is my number one all-time favourite, what used to be until I read some of the last ones. <laughs> Question number 13. Which books do you need to read before the year ends? Yeah, so my answer to that is all of them. Obviously all of them. Um, but... Yeah. I've got some stuff that I've, that I've, that I've picked up at the Park Book Sale now, now, and I've got some books from Dunton Ball. Um, so, yeah. Everything <laughs> on my TBR. Whatever I read by in the next six months, that's what I need to read. Okay, okay, I'm going with that. Whatever I read in the next six months is what I need to read. <laughs> yeah. And that is the Media Book Freakout Tag, uh, Middle of the Year Check-In. Um, and that is how I did. I'm not going to count my pages. I'm not going to um, do that. Uh, I could, but it won't because it's work. A lot of work and I'm not that guy right now. So, y'all, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty proud of myself and what I've, I've, I've achieved this year. I haven't achieved anything. I mean, I read 42 books, 43 books, whatever it is. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really great. Please do let me know down in the comments below what you've read so far this year, which was your phase and your most disappointments. I'd love to absolutely find out and hear about them. If you've read any of these, please do let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you thought about those. And that's it from me. So, from... A sunshiny day in the middle of winter from Cape Town, South Africa. Bye!